Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've ever used a kneaded eraser, you'll know that it's the best type of eraser. It can be molded into any shape, which is fun, and all that you need to do is dab and lift. Here's how to make one yourself. You'll need either one or two items. A basic eraser. This can be from the top of a pencil or on its own. And some erasers won't require this, but I also used a few post-it notes as an adhesive to join together the eraser. So I had to rub the eraser along the sticky side of a post-it note until it comes off and is incorporated into the eraser crumbs. Masking tape would also work. As I said earlier, sometimes you can skip the step and just knead the eraser crumbs in your hand. This is all based on the kind of eraser you're using though. For instance, the white paper mint erasers will come together within just a few seconds of kneading. Remember that this can all be adjusted, so if the eraser is too sticky, you can always add more dry eraser crumbs until the consistency is just right. It's also okay if you don't have tape or post-it notes, search the house for stickers like barcodes or labels that you don't need or use anymore. Continue kneading the eraser with your fingers and that's it. My eraser is clearly tiny because this process can be time consuming, but of course you can make yours however large or small you'd like. Here, I'm demonstrating how to use the eraser. I scrubbed on a piece of scrap paper and the pencil came off instantly. So that's all for this video, thank you so so much for watching. This video was quick, but I hope I was able to help you out. Let me know if you tried this out and feel free to share your results with me. Subscribe and follow my TikTok at DestinationDIY for more fun content like this and I'll see you next time. Bye!